Hey guys, Ken Carlson here with Country Guitar Chops. And I want to share another lick idea with you here. Um, I, if you're not familiar with my website, I have instructional DVDs and then I have what's called a song series where I teach you how to play the songs as played by the, uh, you know, the, as played on the record. And what this lesson is going to be about is uh, Pete Anderson. I recently did a lesson for Please, Please, Baby, which was an awesome, awesome song. I remember when that song came out, it was like if all the guitar players in town were like, Go, who is that guy? It's, it was just awesome guitar picking on that. Um, it was kind of like when Ray Flat came out with Highway 40 Blues. It was the same thing. It was, oh, check this guy out. Anyway, what I'm going to do is show you... Part of the the last part of the solo that he played on, on the first solo, uh, he did a little lick there that came out of a three chord shapes that I teach in my country rhythm patterns uh, DVD set. It's a five disc set. I think I've got over two hundred and twenty examples. Uh, just a ton of ton of ideas there to to get from that. But one of the examples I'm going to show you here. And I did three or four variations of this in the, on the lesson. I'm going to show you two of them here. Plus, I'm going to show you what Pete Anderson did. So here is the, the pattern, so to speak. So I'm going to call this the basic pattern. Okay? So that in itself is a kind of a cool groove. You know, when I hear that, I think of old Johnny Rivers, uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Although that would have been the piano part, the guitar part would have been, and I missed it. <laughs> I still missed it. The guitar part would have been something like that, but the piano would have been going. Of course, if you got two guitar players in the band, one would be doing one, one would be doing the other, uh, or should be doing the other. So let me show you these three basic chord shapes that I'm playing here, and then we're gonna and then we're gonna show you some cool ways, other cool ways to play that. I'm playing an E chord, but I'm triple stopping strings four, three, and two. So I'm only playing part of the E chord. Okay. Open B, first fret here, and the second fret here. Part of an E chord. Okay. The second chord shape is an A chord. I'm barring all three. They're at the second fret. The third chord shape is an E7. This finger stays here. I'm up here at the fourth fret on my G and third fret on my B, uh, B string. Yeah. So that, that's an E7. And the way I played that was one, two, okay? And those are triple stops. Now I'm plucking all three at the same time. Uh, and then to the two on the A chord. Again, two up here. That's our E7. And then I hit the A. And I quickly come back up here and hit the E. Again, the E7 with a pull off. One more time. With a pull off. If you find this boring, if you're more advanced, don't click out yet. It's going to get more exciting. Um, so that's the basic chord shape. Now you can also go, uh, this being a, coming in on the downbeat instead of one, two, it would be a uh, one. I would double stop, pick this and then double stop and then triple stop all of them for the second one. So it's a, a one, two, three. Let me just play it so you can hear. I'll play without counting so you can hear what I'm talking about. Did you hear that? A one, two. A one, two. So I'm pick, double stop, triple stop on the second one. This being the downbeat. A oh, one, two. All right. Just one of the many, many ways you can play that. 
All right, so let me show you the same idea, like I said, on the country rhythm. I, I think I showed four different ways to play that, I think. Um, but here's another way. All right, totally different sounding groove on that, but I'm using those same chord shapes, all right? Now, I also abandoned the D string, and I was just doing double stops down here, and droning my open E. Again, there's just many ways you could play this as well. Let's do it without the, uh, without the, the bass string. It would be... So I slide into that. That's my E7 chord shape. Three, four, one, two, three, four. It's kind of a push on the four. Open. Strings two and three, hammer on, and then down here. Okay. And that is a, a popping it with a finger, hammering onto that. So now let's just add that. It's called a dead thumb. Try to keep that thumb going. One, two, three, four, one. You know, doing the quarter notes. Two, one, two. Quarter notes or eighth notes. I, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it'd be quarter notes. Um, and I also do up and down. I, I tend to alternate that. Uh, uh, so listen to the bass string. See right there, I go one, two. There's my quarter notes or eighth notes. And then I get into the up and down. And then I go back into the eighth notes here. <laughs> it's hard to do it if I think about it. All right. Try that one more time. So there's just another idea for you. Now, what I want to show you is how Pete Anderson used that same idea within a solo on the Please Please Baby. If you're familiar with that song, E, um, a, a quick shuffle. Okay, so coming off that first end of that solo, he played this, uh, going to the B chord. If you don't come home, dear. Okay, let me do that again. Okay, there's the lick right there. So it starts out one. We got a, a hammering, hammering onto that open B. A one, okay. So just ha hammering on and off to the open B. A one, two. I'm counting the beats here of the measure. So on the second beat, there's our A chord. Okay, I'm double stopping strings two and three. The next one is open with the hammer on down here to our E chord shape. Okay, so we have one. Two, oops, it's not a hammer onto that one. One, two, uh, three. Okay. Back to the A. Four, and I think it's a ghost note, you know, from here. Right there's a ghost note. A, ghost note. Up to our E7 chord shape. Ghost note. Back to the A again. Open. Hammer on. Down to the E note, that's the uh, second fret of the D string. Back to the G sharp, the first fret. And then down here to the A. 
back into our rhythm guitar pattern because the vocals take over from there. So again, I'll try to play that slow. A one, two, three, four. Maybe here a four. That might be a hammer on there again. No, it's not a hammer on there. Playing it faster, I'm articulating it a little different. Let me see if I can figure that out. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Then into the A chord. Two, three, four. A one, two, three, four. Again, one, two, three, four. Okay, very cool, cool lick and just another way to show you how to play a variation of that little phrase. Now, you don't have to play that phrase right here in the E position. You can play that anywhere up the neck. Here's a G chord. If I want to throw the droning open string, I can do that in A because I got my A right down here. As you can see, I'm taking off on some other ideas there, doing some other double stop stuff. You could also do it in the D, open D. Just come up here. And again, I'm taking off on some other double stop ideas there. But again, that's just from building your lick vocabulary up. All right. Hope you enjoyed this little lesson here. If you want to learn more on this, again, I got that Country Rhythm DVD set available, full of, uh, just full of ideas. And if you'd like to learn that Pete Anderson solo, in, in addition to the other one, that was the really cool one, uh, I have that lesson available too. And like I do on a lot of the song lessons, I also improvised another solo, because playing it live, uh, Pete does as a couple, at least a couple more solos in there. And he did it on the end of one of them. He did a really cool lick that I like. So I improvised a solo and then incorporated that lick that he did on, uh, on one of them. So there's three solos to learn on that. All right. I'll see you in the next lesson.